guys. Another perfect sunset in Vancouver here. Today I wanted to go over what the most important questions to ask your potential realtors are. So if you're interviewing realtors, what the most important questions you should be asking them uh, in the interview process when they're doing their listing presentation. So to start, obviously, for most people, selling their principal residence or investment property is the most expensive asset they own. So it's extremely important that you bring someone on board to assist you in selling this asset uh, that you trust and that you believe obviously is gonna do the best job for you. So this uh, little post is gonna go a little bit more in depth into the specific questions. I've, I've touched on the general uh, searching for a realtor topic before, but this one goes a bit further into depth on the actual questions I think you should be asking. Always remember there's no such thing as a stupid question and when you're going through these processes, I mean, you, at some point you're gonna be a first time seller and at some point you're gonna be a fifth time seller and you're always gonna learn something through each step. So it's always very important to uh, interview interview your agents and have the right things to ask. So the first, uh, the first uh, question here is, should I interview multiple agents? I think the answer to this is definitely yes. Uh, even if you've got an agent that you've worked with in the past, that you're comfortable with, that uh, you think would work well again for you, I always suggest at least interviewing two or three, similar to a mortgage broker, uh, interview two or three of them to get an idea on what they can do for you. Every agent's gonna have their own marketing plan and what has worked for them in the past, and every agent obviously is, is different and unique in, uh, and when it comes to their personalities and some you're gonna fit better with than others. If you've got someone that you have worked with in the past that's obviously great, that you trust and have a good rapport with, but I still don't think it would hurt to uh, interview a couple people and worst case scenario, you uh, find someone better that you like and you join uh, join forces with a new agent that you haven't worked with before and best case scenario it solidifies for you that the agent you have worked with in the past is the best option for you and maybe you picked up a few other marketing ideas or tips or something that the other agents put on the table that they say they do that your agent doesn't that you can relay the information to assist uh, your agent in getting your place sold for top dollar in the best terms so the answer to that question is definitely yes I suggest you interview uh, multiple agents uh, just running through them here the next is professional or personal. Uh, this is always a, a blend of uh, your opinion of their professional capabilities and their personal uh, reflection to you, their personality, how you feel you're gonna be able to work closely with this agent. Um, again, some people may look for 50-50. I like their marketing plan and I really like them. Uh, others may be 90-10. I love their marketing plan they come off as a little arrogant or whatever it may be, but I think the marketing plan is superior to everyone else, so I'll put up with talking to, uh, to this person that I may not feel I uh, could ever be friends with outside of a work environment, but I think they're gonna do the best job for me. Or of course, someone that has, uh, in your conversations and present, presenting their listing uh, presentation to you, has, comes across as very trustworthy, very knowledgeable, their marketing plan is, is superior as well and you can slide the uh, the scale the other way and maybe be uh, a little nope, a little uh, 60 40 or 70 30 uh, or even closer ideally to 50 50 with regards to the marketing plan and the uh, personality that you feel they have and, and that you would get along well with them uh, next I've got actually come down here and actually read these I've got some actual questions here this is gonna be about a minute uh, what questions you should ask. Always remember there's no such thing as a stupid question. That's the first thing. Uh, you're in a process here. The process can be a very stressful one at times, not just picking what agent you're gonna work with, but uh, the actual selling process. So you've got that. And additionally, uh, selling a home obviously isn't cheap. So you really wanna make sure when you're doing your pre-qualification of these agents that you are asking the right questions. So here are some that I think are great and we'll really get to the point. I'm just gonna list them off here. Uh, asking the agent how long they've been an agent for, getting into how much experience they actually have. Obviously, in Vancouver, there's 14,500 of us. Uh, yes, we're all licensed as realtors, but clearly there's a huge scale of, uh, of experience uh, from 
between all of us. So yes, we're licensed under the same body, but that's about the only thing we have in common other than maybe some people focusing on specific areas. So how long they've been a realtor for and what their experience has been to date uh, is I think a very valid point. Um, uh, how many properties have they sold in the last year or month to get an idea of how active they are and more so how active they may be in your product type or area, which we'll touch on shortly. Uh, how many listings do they currently have uh, and do they realistically believe they can give you their full attention. So this is, again, how many listings they currently have isn't really a gauge of uh, how they're gonna be good or bad because they may have one or 10 listings. It's a matter of how much time are they realistically going to be able to afford to you amongst their other listings and, uh, and give you the, the time and quality of service that you're wanting when paying someone this much money to represent your, your property for sale. Um, does your prospective realtor work alone? Do they have assistance, a team? Uh, this is, everyone obviously can choose to do their own level of, uh, of, of teamwork and collaboration out there. For example, there's two of us on, on my team and uh, some teams have more, some are of course single agents. So it really depends. The main thing behind this question is who are you gonna be dealing with? You're dealing with the listing aid, the lead agent, uh, and the presentation. Are you not going to hear from that lead agent until there's an offer? Or are they going to be giving you the updates? Or is an assistant going to be giving you updates? All these sorts of things. Getting to the bottom line of who's exactly going to be communicating and clarifying that channel of communication so you know what to expect moving forward uh, if you choose to work with that agent. Uh, does a realtor... Uh, your interviewing specializes in houses or condos, obviously very different strata and detached houses. Um, does the agent do both? Do they specialize in one? Uh, have they sold in your neighborhood before? Are they familiar with the amenities uh, that obviously potential buyers are going to be seeking information on? Uh, have they sold specific type of property before? Condo, uh, house, leasehold, co-op, uh, freehold, all these things. Have they sold? Are they familiar with selling your type of product? Which is also very important. Obviously anyone can, allow, can uh, educate themselves on the product, but it, the more integral knowledge they have on it, obviously the, the better they will be to uh, be in a position to sell that product. Um, uh, when was the last time uh, their negotiation skills really pulled through for a client? Ask for specific circumstances. When did you feel you performed the best and really shine for your clients? Uh, have they typically how do they typically market and why? What sort of marketing do you do? Why do you do that? Have you had success in that? Have you uh, sold places specifically because of this marketing that you're doing? What sort of publications or platforms do they advertise on and why? Uh, have they ever been fired from a client before? Why have they, if, if, if that's the case? Uh, have they ever fired a client before? Why have they, if that's the case? Uh, how much do they charge? How much do they spend on marketing? So these are a few of the main things that I think are worthwhile asking for sure. And finally, how do you tell if they're right for you? You're really gonna be able to justify what they're doing for marketing and the fit that they have uh, personally for you and you're gonna feel comfortable working with that person and you're gonna be understanding of the marketing plan and believe in the marketing plan that they're gonna use. That's it for me. If you got any questions on this, jay at mckinnismarketing.com. 604-771-4606. And...